And we're here at the bicycle, the handmade bicycle bicycle show, and we're here with Rich from Hello, everybody. United Bicycle Institute. They teach you how to make bikes. Check this out. This is like a practice frame, right? This would be your. What would this be? This would be the neck. This is a head tube. Head tube. Top tube. Down tube. C tube and bottom bracket. So it's missing the the stays, the back end of the bike. And so now, now what is it you do over there? So I get to teach people how to fabricate frames. I teach them how to weld. I teach them how to braze, and then also design the actual frame itself. So you know what length tubings are we going to use? How we do the miters, uh, angles? How to use a mitering machine? How to use a file? I now, get to teach all this. Now I know what you're talking about with mitering. It's about angles. But what is what is mitering? Let's say someone doesn't know. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. So mitering means that we've got. Let's just imagine that this is just a regular length tube, right? It's square on each end. Well, we need to miter it so that it fits. We need to cut it so that it fits each end of each tube, right? So I just can't have a flat edge hitting this tube. I need to have it coped or mitered so that it wraps around the tube so I can I can right. connect it. Yeah. See how this goes? It's like a almost like he said coped, but some people say fish mouth. It's like yeah. a it's like a kiss. You got to kiss yeah. the tube. Yeah, we want contact all the way around that tube, and, you know, and only. The only way to do that is to shape it so that it's the same shape as the tube it's going to be. Joined. Now they don't just do this at your place, they also teach mechanics? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we have basically two parts of the school. We have the frame building side and we have the mechanics side. The mechanics we teach everything. We teach hydraulics, we teach uh, suspension, wheel building, wow. general mechanics. Wow. Yeah. In advance to, to intro, we do it all. All bicycle mechanics. Yeah. Amazing. Awesome. So imagine, you know, that's an actual job. You could work in a bike shop or you could build your own bikes. Like I worked in a bike shop for about a year and a half. Yeah. That was one of the best jobs I ever had. You get to like build bikes right in front of people so that they see what you're doing so there's no hiding. It's very honest. Uh, you just you know, you gotta understand the bike and, and work quick and get get right to the problem, you know, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah, the bikes are they're incredible machines because yeah, they're simple in certain aspects, but they're also very detail-oriented, very intricate, very, uh, there's a lot behind them. So if you want to get deeper into bike design or something, you know, you got to do some research. You got to learn about it. But if you just want to pick up a bike and go ride, or if you want to work on it, you know, kind of on the minor side of it, yeah, it's not too difficult. So it's pretty cool that way. And, um, okay, so now how did, you no, know, going back a bit, how did you get your start? Like, where'd you come from, the roots? Oh, uh, wow. So <laughs> I have three older brothers, and they were all into bikes. Uh, so I got into bikes that way. Uh -huh. And then um, as far as fabrication is concerned, I've always been tinkering. I've always, you know, playing with something. Right. And then uh, I think in my undergrad, I, I, I was part of a bridge project. Where oh. We built a bridge and had it in a competition. I helped build it. Right. And that's when I first learned how to weld. And Did after you do that, civil engineering? Is that why? Or? Uh, structural, yeah. Structural. Yeah. I heard about these bridge projects. So basically, like, they make a whole bridge and then, and like, a scale bridge, right? Yeah, and then they test it and they the break it. Wow. How'd yeah. you guys do? Uh, we didn't do so well. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there was a, it was a great lesson, though, because I, I designed the joint. It was a slip joint. Mm -hmm. And um, it, was too, it was fabricated too tight. Uh, the tolerances were too tight, so I thought I was doing the right thing in opening it up, but in, in actuality, I was creating a stress riser. Oh, didn't know anything. And then, oh. then so we, we got third in our school, and the school was actually second in our school. Um, but we weren't the ones to, the first place winners got to take theirs on. So. That's awesome. It was a lesson learned. It was, you know, I'd love to say that, yeah, I was a champion, but yeah. I'm just as stoked to say I learned a really valuable lesson from it. So, you know, this is something I talk about all the time with, 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 with students and, and whoever's want to listen, is that it's interesting the school system puts failure at the bottom. This is the, the least valuable thing. Yeah, but, sucks. But, but I would say that it's the opposite. I think exactly. F is on the top. You agree. If, if as long as it's a failure that happened because it was an actual failure, not because they weren't trying. Right, like right. if somebody is really into Like a Q would failed. be bad on the bottom. Yeah, exactly. Like a no Qs. Yeah, no we Qs. Don't know, a Q, that's like an F. Yeah. But, a, but, but, a, but you put the F on the top. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that because be cool. if, you're, if you're really interested and you fail, that's not a bad thing. That's, a, that's, a, that's an opportunity to learn, and it's a first-hand, first-experience lesson learned what not to do or what to do differently next time. So, yeah. So that's what you did in college, right? 
So that was where I got my fabrication kind of start as far okay. as welding is concerned. Did yeah. you do anything in high school? Was there a shop class of any kind? Yeah, I so I was one of the fortunate ones that nice. you know had a shop class when I was going through high school. So um, I did it all. I, I did uh, learned how to use a lathe and I made some uh, goblets, I think they're called. Oh, okay. Um, out of aluminum, which is the oh, bad cool. idea as far as actually using them as a yeah, goblet. Yeah. But, but it was fun. And then I made... Um, I made a bowl that I gave to my mom that's uh, different layers of different colored wood. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so when you wow. when you chop it all up and put it in a lathe, you got these like layers that really oh, look pretty, cool. pretty red. So nice. I was really fortunate because I've heard a lot of people don't have that opportunity and I don't even know what a file is. You know? We were just talking about this right before the camera started that there's so many shop classes closing. Um, now, where did you go to high school? What, where was uh, that? Colorado Springs. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Is that by the Air Force, right? Yeah, Air okay. Force Academy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, I've been. Pa I went past there once, and I got a friend that was in the Air Force Academy for a bit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's um, a good place to grow up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you probably see rockets all the time. Exactly. Right? Well, we saw um, fighter planes and cool. a space shuttle was there once. So oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and uh, uh, what was it? Let's see. That's the roots. Oh, okay. Recommendations. Yeah. All right. So me as a teacher, uh, you saw that we're trying to do bicycles and you kind of know what I do. But uh, what rec is there anything you think that I should be teaching that's important? Uh, you know, for them, if you were to recommend, you have, you have access to my lesson plans. Yeah. Tell me what I should do. So. First and foremost is safety, right? Because if somebody gets hurt in a in a, any kind of fabrication environment, they're they're more likely to not want to do it anymore, right. and that's that's a bummer because there's a lot of talented people out there. So beyond that, just the fundamentals. So learn how to fix your things, learn how to hold things in a vise, learn how to right. hold things in you know any kind of fixturing you're using for a machine. Um, learn that and and the um, so so they understand fixturing so that anybody watching this understands fixturing would be how you hold the piece that you're going to cut or weld or yeah yeah okay yeah you want to there's a there's a right way and a lot of wrong ways on just how to hold things even like on the like. vice has these jaws and they can bite into it you could have a jaw protector or something like that yeah. is that kind of what you mean that and then also like let's say that I wanted to something simple like let's say I want to hack saw cut off an end of a tube right. right or I want to make a tube four feet to two two feet okay if I hold the the tube in the vise with the you know tube jaws but the tube is sticking out you know six or eight inches and I'm gonna hacksaw it most of us have this intuition that says that that tube's gonna be pretty flexible oh, yeah, right yeah. so the closer we can get that to the support the more rigid it's going to be and the more easy the cut's going to be. Some people, they, they have it set up and properly and they feel like they're not very good with the hacksaw when it's not them at all, it's their setup. God, so things like that, it's a, it makes a huge difference. I like, like okay, so um, I have a, a, a variety of people in my class and some people just don't have the strength but they think that mechanics is about the strength, but it's about the leverage. Exactly. And so the opposite would be, in this situation he's giving an example of, would be the closer you get and the more stable the object is, then the better cut you're going to make because it's going to be straight. Exactly. Okay, yeah, I can totally relate. Exactly. Yeah. Um, what other recommendations? How to use just general tools. So, you know, if you're picking up a file, how do you use a file? There's a, a very efficient way to use a file, and then there's a, there's a lot of wrong ways. Um, Back, backwards. Exactly. People go backwards. Exactly. And I say, look at the file. Put your fingers into the grooves and see there's a grain. Yeah. You know, like there's a direction there's to the cutters. a specific way. Yeah. And every time you pull back on it, you're dulling the file, which makes it harder when you go to use it again. The right. right way. So That's true. there's that. And then also, let's say that I'm going to file a, a, a tube. I'm going to file a miter by hand. And I put it in a vise. I see a lot of times people put it in so that they have to work at some kind of funky angle. Yeah. You know, and it's like, look, all you have to do is put it in. Right Another straight. shop teacher. Yeah, you, you got to come in. He's, he teaches welding. Yeah. I met him earlier. Nice. This is awesome. Yeah. We were talking before. Uh, so, okay, sorry. So, the, the way that you fix your something yep. and, the, and the angle you're cutting, there's no reason to struggle. No, right? yeah. most of the time, unless you know you're, you're, you're a small person with large fixture or something, yeah. most of the time you can just set it up so that you're just in your zone. You're in your, you know, good... Uh, healthy right. position of your body. You know? Nice. Yeah. Uh, cool. Any, any advice to uh, you know kids in high school? What's, you know When they want to do something like this, what should they do? So the big thing is, if you like working with your hands, if you like um, building things, creating things, it's kind of a sad 
environment sometimes and the, um, there's not a whole, place, a whole lot of opportunities or places to do this, but don't stop because it'll come around. Um, we're always going to need people who know how to use their hands and know how to use tools and machines and files and things like this. So if that's in you, if it's in your blood, don't stop. Keep doing it. Keep working on it. Keep finding something to play with. And at some point, um, you'll find an avenue that you can flourish in and You'll be glad that you did, because you know I I, I was uh, I've definitely been that way my whole life. But I went into academia and I got a master's degree. I went into engineering for eight months. I wanted to put a bullet in my head. You know I was so unhappy. Yeah. Um, but thank goodness there was an avenue that I could go back to that um, you know I could use my hands and build stuff. Uh, you know I would only add to that that everyone's different and but exactly. never give up. Exactly. That's a great advice that he gave. Yeah. Rich, thank you so much. Yeah, my pleasure. Man. Okay, and we're going to stay in touch because, we're, as you know, we're doing a frame. And yeah. who knows, maybe I'll take a class in the future so I can offer better, you know, yeah. stuff, to, you know stuff to them. Yeah, we'd love to have you, man. All right, cool. Awesome. All right, Mr. G, out. See you later.